Outside Ukraine's embassy in London, a steady stream of men come to find out how they can join up to fight. You can send an uh, email, a letter for this address, yeah. and uh, he contacted with you and said what you must do. This was a clip shown by Sky News which shows a young man that wants to go to Ukraine and fight. He doesn't know how to fight, he doesn't know the language. It's Tasneem Akunji here. I thought it'd be important to caution people against that because of the provision of UK criminal law uh, prohibiting that, really. And oh yeah, he's joined by a 60-year-old man who also wants to fight. And you're prepared to go to Ukraine and fight? Yeah, I can get on the flight tomorrow. And if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 60. I mean, look at him. He's barely standing up as it is. What he's going to do there, only Allah knows. Uh, that's a Jannah. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Muslims wanting to fight abroad has been seen as such a taboo that even if you were to consider defending or contextualizing their reason for doing so, that's enough for the government to go, hang on a minute, prevent. Get over here mate. And even when Muslims get Eid messages, there's normally a clause in there to say stop the terrorism. Shut up. And certain Muslim personalities are told to go around giving this anti-terrorism message. I'm compelled to ask, will the same prevent that's used against Muslims be used against Ukraine? Will famous YouTubers be told to tell these people to stay out of it mate? Now I know what you're thinking, Liz Trous, the Foreign Secretary of the UK is okay with people going. In fact, here we can see Sky News is not putting these people off. But they're utterly convinced of the cause. Are you afraid? Uh, of course I am. It is somewhat glorifying it or somewhat tacitly saying, yeah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? If I'm this scared and this apprehensive, and what, what are the people over there going through? So I was compelled to ask the legend Muhammad Tasneem Akunji, yes, the lawyer that smashed Tommy Robinson, mate. Yeah, he took him to court, and I think Tommy Robinson's had to pay hundreds and thousands of pounds, mate. He, he violated him. Under Section 4 of the Foreign Enlistment Act 1870, it's an offence for a British subject uh, to enlist in the military of a foreign state who is at war with another foreign state with which the UK is at peace. Now Ukraine is a foreign state, it is at war with Russia and technically at the moment, despite the rhetoric, the UK government have not declared war on Russia. So we're in a state of peace with Russia. More importantly, it's also a criminal offence under section five of the Foreign Enlistment Act to um, even leave the UK with the intent to serve a foreign state again in the circumstances where that state is at war with another state who's at peace with, uh, with the UK. There you go mate, it's illegal according to British law mate, it's illegal. Will the United Kingdom be changing its law when it comes to Ukraine? The next thing I wanted to say, uh, this just gets juicier and juicier. There are pictures coming out that this guy is an actor. Are Sky News using crisis actors? And if so, why? Again, it comes down to this question. Are you trying to encourage people to go there? And let's just say for argument's sake he's not a crisis actor, yeah? Maybe he is and uh, Mr. Grandpa next to him is not. Okay, no problem. These people have been radicalized. Yes, they've been radicalized. What do I mean? A week ago, these people were fine. Sitting at home, eating their pot noodles. However, now they're willing to go and get themselves killed. Hello, yeah, we've come to, um, to join the Ukrainian army or whatever they're called. They're not even sure of the army's name, but they're utterly convinced of the cause. What's changed in a couple of weeks? Watching the news. So if they can watch the news and be radicalized, then I'm sorry, can Muslim, are Muslims not allowed to be radicalized by watching the same news again and again? You should go on Muslim social media every other day, something to do with Palestine, something to do with India, the Uyghurs, we're constantly being bombarded by hey, 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 you cannot get radicalized, you Muslims. <laughs> what on earth is going on? I'm, I'm actually, 
I'm shell-shocked. That's why I'm shell-shocked. Jimbo or whatever his name is got radicalized in a week. Muslims have been seeing these images for years. And when a handful of us gets radicalized, oh ho ho. Thank you. And it's also worth noting, he doesn't know the language. He's not trained. Neither of these men have any military experience. Tom runs a dog care business. I mean, when he goes there and they're speaking to him on the radio, he's not going to understand. Yeah, who's he going to shoot? How's he going to know? He doesn't know the culture either. You know what they're going to do? They're going to stick him on the front line and then when he dies, they're going to take pictures, send it back to the British. Look, this is what's happening to your people. You need to get involved. Lastly, if by some miracle, this Don manages to come back, as well as his friend, the dog groomer, or whoever. Is the government gonna take responsibility for treating their mental health? Giving them PTSD support? In fact, is the law going to be okay with them coming back? Because they, they go not being ready for war, they're gonna come back <laughs> radicalized and ready for war mate. How are you gonna cater for these people? Food for thought guys, and yet another hypocrisy that I felt compelled to highlight and a special Jazakallah Khair and thanks to uh, Muhammad Tasneem Akunji who was very instrumental in the research of this video and very helpful. I'm going to link his Twitter down in the description. Jazakallah Khair for all the people that have been supporting me on Patreon. Guys, we need to keep this going. I know you guys have seen a significant improvement in the videos, but at the moment we haven't hit the mark that we need to hit. Keep supporting and let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.